what's up everybody welcome back once again to exotic astrology and today we will discuss on a very exciting topic why relationships fail why relationships don't work today these days <laughs> why do we always hear that this person have broken he has broken she has broken marriages are falling apart divorces are increasing <laughs> Sounds family. <laughs> Welcome back to Exotic Astrology. And if you have not subscribed to these videos, then please subscribe to it. Or else you will miss now. <laughs> Just like you miss the other videos. And if you like the videos of this channel, then share it with everybody else. With your family, friends, colleagues, parents, husband, wife and nearby and near and dear ones with your neighbors <laughs> and if you want a personal consultation with me then please message me in my number in whatsapp below or email me at the address which i have given below for professional consultations personalized to your very chart now before beginning as i always say god is there with you all the time just <laughs> just look to him and he will help you <laughs> to get over a broken relationship maybe <laughs> well that's the <clears throat> sorry for the disturbance that's the sad part of the life that we are living today that there are so many breaks in relationships unfortunately People these days are somehow not able to maintain relationships, especially in the West and even in the Asian countries these days, in countries like India also. Well, why that is happening? What do you think? What's the cause? Any answers? <laughs> okay. Because one of the main reasons is because people have used to people have been used to getting things very easily very easily very 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 easily without putting much effort and that is why when we do things in our life without putting much effort in one area or in two areas or in some particular areas of our life the same tendency is carried on to every other area or every other aspect of our life. Yes. For example, if there is a student who doesn't study for his exams, what is the message he is sending to himself? Even if he gets good marks, maybe he is super intelligent, he studies one night before and he gets 100 out of 100. There are students like that. But if there is no consistency, if there is no hard work, eventually he will fail. You see these people who think themselves as big shots by studying once before the day. They cannot achieve in long run anything substantial in their life. In every area of their life. They will begin things but they cannot continue them. If you do not believe me, check it. <laughs> Go to your list of school friends and check it. Those of who used to say I have studied this subject in one night I have done this in one month I have done that in 10 days well sir I am sorry <laughs> sir or madam <laughs> if I do not say madam some feminist may blast me you are being sexist <laughs> so I am not a sexist I am saying women also I have seen many women saying like this. <clears throat> there was a girl once who told me I have finished the chemistry syllabus of 12th standard in 3 months. And then when she was saying I was like, hmm, good. <laughs> These are the most miserable people I have seen. Bragging, boasting about themselves that we have achieved things in a short term. Well, that is because of your good karma you have achieved. But that will not happen every time. That can happen once, twice, 
or maybe 10 times but not every time the problem is you lack consistency do not try to hide it by being an ostrich yes hard work has no substitute and when you cannot put that hard work in one area of your life in terms of other areas also you will behave the same for example if such a student starts going to the gym what will happen he or she after some time they will give up <laughs> because just because they are intelligent intelligent means they may be good in one field in their life in one area in terms of intellect in terms of grasping things very fast that doesn't mean in terms of health they will be the same right or that doesn't mean in terms of maintaining a relationship they will be excellent how much time does it take these days to start a new relationship it doesn't take much time right <laughs> can be done easily may not be effortlessly but very easily it can be done Many of you who have been seeing this video, maybe you are masters of that. <laughs> Getting the opposite sex mad after you, right? <laughs> there, I see you smiling. <laughs> Proud about yourself, right? I can drive the opposite sex mad after me, crazy after me. Well, that is what my point is that you may be extraordinary for some time in some area of your life, but that doesn't mean you can substitute that for hard work. And that is why these people who pretend themselves to be very intelligent in other areas of their life when they start working, they, are, they fail miserably because the same trait which is consistency is lacking in them hard work self efforts is lacking because there's a saying that injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere yes have you heard this saying which means that if you behave irresponsibly in some area you are likely to behave the same way in every other area of your life because you are the same person it's just the place where you are using the quality so when you drag it to relationships what does it mean the same trait is coming into the relationships like they will start a new relationship how much time does it take these days one day two day three day four day five day six day maximum a month maybe <laughs> Because everybody is so convinced that relationships will give me the highest pleasure, right? False convictions. And then what happens when you get into it? Getting is very easy. May not be very easy, but not very difficult also. No? I know you. <laughs> but after you get in, the real challenge starts when the honeymoon phase is over when your hormones subside and you realize that oh the other person is just another person just like my friend or my mother or my father they are not the darling of your dreams the apple of your eye anymore your heart doesn't pump when you see them anymore <laughs> it will pump but it doesn't pump the way it used to pump those days <laughs> those initial butterflies right <laughs> <laughs> but then the problem is you are lacking consistency somewhere and then the same trait comes here then you stop doing those things which you used to do in the initial days to get the person to fall in love with you because now you feel what's the need because you have an inner programming okay this much if I do there it will give me this and then when you come here the same rule applies right no it doesn't apply <laughs> that's the problem <laughs> but you think it will happen like that just by studying a syllabus 
in three months you cracked it you feel that that is the same way it will work for relationships also but it doesn't but the problem is you think it will work that way which is very unfortunate because that cannot happen for relationships long term consistency is required predictable behavior is required if you do not have all this then you are creating trouble for yourself because you are not investing and whatever you do not invest dies wherever you do not invest that will reduce is the same everywhere if you stop going to the gym you will lose your body fitness i mean if you are a person who goes to the gym very regularly similarly if you are very expert in coding computer programming suddenly if you stop coding then what happens <coughs> then you will lose your practice right and then again you have to start from basics so consistency is the one quality which most of the people are lacking in every area of their life and what is consistency consistency is the trait represented by the planet saturn now you understand why saturn gets exalted in the sign of libra <laughs> because libra is the place where you need the highest level of consistency which is what marriage relationships right <laughs> saturn's most powerful need is there in that place if that thing is not there in libra which is saturn venus cannot function it's not possible <laughs> venus cannot do anything in libra if saturn is not there and that is why they are best friends <laughs> one represents joy happiness love the other represents sorrows tears misery but still they are together do you understand now why saturn venus are best friends your shoes are represented by saturn and the socks are represented by venus they are always together <laughs> so this one trait which people are lacking because of which relationships do not work so what is the way by which you cultivate this trait very simple start becoming more responsible have a schedule have discipline in your life and ultimately saturn is the yogi yes so do some yoga do some spiritual practice that is the end goal every planet is telling you to become more and more spiritual at the end of the day do you understand now <laughs> because when you take to spirituality do yoga do meditation then what happens your mind is calm you can do things the way you want to do otherwise the mind will let you do things the way it wants and then there is inherent destruction you see how people are destroying themselves drinking smoking alcohol addictions drugs pornography prostitution it's rampant in this country right it's, it's terrible and they are so happy <laughs> they say that smoking makes you cool yes <laughs> it's a royal road to hell and when i say hell i do not mean any specific place physical place which is mentioned in the scriptures i do not mean that hell i mean hell your life in this very life forget next life next life will come later forget other lifetimes forget religion forget spirituality forget god also talk about this life talk about the now you are inviting disaster if you are inviting rahu into your life but what to do <laughs> you are handcuffed in the chains you cannot leave
there is only one planet which can liberate you from this. Who is that planet? Jupiter is the planet. Because there is only one planet in the solar system that can control Rahu. Because Rahu eclipses the sun also. Imagine. Because Rahu is corruption. Rahu is cheating. Even governments undergo these experiences. That means what to speak of other planets. If the sun itself is eclipsed. Sun and moon are the king and the queen. They are eclipsed by Rahu Ketu. right? And when Saturn and Rahu are together. It is known as Shrapit Yoga. Which means due to some terrible curse you are born. By somebody, <laughs> depending on the sign and the house. If Saturn Rahu combination is happening in the sign of Jupiter, which is Sagittarius and Pisces, maybe the curse is because of a Brahmin or a Guru or a spiritual leader. Or if it is in the sign of Venus, or if it is with Venus, it can be from a lady. And if Jupiter Rahu is there, it is known as Chandal Yoga, which means Jupiter is under influence of Rahu. But still, Jupiter can control Rahu if it is strong. Because Lord Ram killed Ravan. Ravan cannot destroy Lord Ram. It's not possible. Rahu cannot destroy Jupiter. But Jupiter can control Rahu. Thank God there is one planet which can save us from Rahu and that's what that is spirituality. God divine wisdom. Okay, that is it from my side. I would stop the video here with the conclusion that the only one quality which is needed because of which we can sustain relationships or the absence of one quality because of which we cannot sustain relationships. And how to get that through Saturn, through being disciplined. And how to be disciplined by being spiritual. Because then your mind is calm. You can do things the way you want. So that's my conclusion. So if you have any questions, queries and comments. Or if you think what I spoke just now resonates with you. Or it doesn't. Then please let me know in the comment section. Until next time. Bye bye. See you.